Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today it will be a different video from the usual reviews or usual tops and so on. Today we will speak about the news that Creed have been bought or sold, depends how you look at it, again. So if you would like to learn more about this topic and what do I think about this move from Caring Group to purchase Creed, then please stay tuned. This is uh, not a perfume box. This is uh, my Gucci shoes box. It looks very nice. It has this uh, nice pattern in here. And if you're wondering what has to do this Gucci box with uh, today's video, then um, let me explain. Caring Group is a French luxury uh, group and they are the owners of Gucci. Gucci as a whole fashion house and all the, the rights for the name of Gucci. So I read here a news from the 26th of June. They have purchased from Black Rock Investment Group the Creed perfumes, the French fragrance label Creed, which has created so much drama in the perfume world. And we all know what was the story when the Creed family sold the, the perfume house to BlackRock back in the day. I think it was already 2019, if I'm not mistaken. In the meanwhile, uh, so since 20 to 23, not many things happened. Currently, this Creed, so the Aventus Cologne, is my only bottle uh, from Creed. And I think it's the only Creed as of now which makes sense to have. I also had the Royal Wood, but yeah, and this uh, Aventus Cologne, in my opinion, is a very nice mix between the Aventus nice fresh citrusy character and Allure Homme Eau de Toilette. So here I have the, the Parfum, though extreme, but a mix between Aventus and this one is the Aventus Cologne. If you ask me, I don't think Creed has, as of now, strong perfumes, but you myself, others on forums, Parfumo Fragrantica and so on. We are perfume lovers, which are directly interested in perfumery, if it's long lasting, not how it smells, the notes, the development, whatever, reformulations. But I think we are a very small niche. So we are maybe, maybe 10% of the whole clientele of these beauty houses. I can bet money that 90% of the buyers don't know about Tonka Beam, don't know about who's the perfumer and honestly, they don't even care. So for those people, I guess Creed as a very expensive, very exquisite house still has a certain attractivity, the same as the Maison uh, Francis Kurchan, the same as the uh, perfumes from Maison Christian Dior, the, the expensive line. No? If you show those bottles to somebody who is used with your normal mainstream scents, they will think, uh, wow, what is this? They look so well and they cost so much, they must be good. Back to the purchase. So on the 26th of June, Gucci owner Kering has struck a deal to buy high-end French uh, label Creed and its first acquisition since flagging intentions earlier this year to create an in-house cosmetic business. The acquisition clearly marks a major step for Kering Beauté, allowing it to reach critical mass in this category, said Rafaela Cornaggia, the CEO of the new Kering's beauty division. She was a Estée Lauder executive and in February 23, she was appointed to uh, lead this new division. Caring Group is a very high-end luxury. Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy is a very high-end luxury group. The Louis Vuitton perfumes four years ago, three years ago, five years ago were kind of, eh, they are uh, treading the water. They are starting to see what it is. In the meanwhile, with Jacques Cavalier Belletrude as master perfumer, exquisite design for the bottles and the fact that they are refillable and Louis Vuitton came up with Ombre Nomade, which is one of the top perfumes on the market, in my opinion, and many people believe the same. You cannot get better mainstream wood 
at this price point at this uh, with this beautiful dna they came up with imagination which is like really a very popular and beautiful in the same time scent so louis vuitton group have developed a very nice beauty division they have the bulgari as their uh, perfumes they have aqua di parma as their perfumes they have christian dior they have guerlain so the louis vuitton group is very powerful the louis vuitton have uh, a lot of good brands for fashion the louis vuitton of course christian dior and so on but they have also a very powerful and competitive beauty division the caring group i googled caring group brands they have gucci Yves Saint Laurent, Bottega Veneta, Boucheron, Alexander McQueen, Balenciaga, Brioni, Girard Perigueux, so the watches. The owner of Caring Group, uh, his name is François-Henri Pinault, Pinault, Pinault. From a few discussions which I had with friends close to the matter, uh, Mr. Pinault, his desire to get close and even above, if it's possible, in terms of business, of course, to the owner of uh, Louis Vuitton, Moet Hennessy, Bernard Arnault. is one of the richest people in the world, if not the richest. Like, they are always fighting for these top uh, places with uh, Elon Musk, with Jeff Bezos, based on the value of their assets. What is the creed sale telling us, telling me, as a passionate economist, as a perfume lover and so on? They want to create their own beauty division. You saw that also Yves Saint Laurent is... Uh, one of their brands, the fashion Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent, you know that they are uh, very good. They have a lot of great scents. They have the tuxedo from the higher line and so on. That is with license given to L'Oreal. So they have the Yves Saint Laurent, which when the license with L'Oreal will end, surely they will take it in their own beauty division group. They have Gucci that I showed you earlier, the box of shoes. They have Gucci Division, which we had Gucci Purom, Gucci Rush, Gucci by Gucci, for Gucci, for Gucci, like in 2010, which was a very wonderful scent and they uh, discontinued it. They, um, meaning Coty. So in 29, the Gucci Beauty will uh, have its license with Coty ended and this newly created division will take it back i am 100 percent sure so then most likely together with michelle almayrak the perfumer of the original gucci purom they will make again a gucci purom as a nostalgic release the same way jean paul gautier uh, released gautier 2 now after many years they have creed and most likely we will see some more purchases in the next months keep an eye on this space keep an eye on the news what uh, caring beauty so caring beauty group will do i think we will be surprised in the next months uh, maybe in the autumn maybe in the winter of uh, new very good purchases from them in order to build a great portfolio and to fight Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy Group, which already has a very strong premium beauty luxury portfolio. So now, what has this to do with Creed? They have created a great name, mostly on hype. Without YouTube, I wouldn't have purchased any Creed so far. So like, I have been to the shops in 2014, 15, I saw the Creed bottles in the shelf. A friend of mine had uh, some spray from, uh, from Creed and I was always discussing with him how the prices are overpriced, these scents. So I'm not gonna touch them, not even with a stick, like with a wood pole. Then Corona came, then Jeremy Fragrance, then all the others said Creed this, Creed that, Aventus this, Aventus that. I also bought an Aventus and you can see the video here. It wasn't a very good experience. And for me, creeds are mm, some perfumes which we should acknowledge because they have a very good contribution to the market of expensive high-end perfumes, but they are not on my interest list. But there is a big but in here. Most of the scents during the years have been neglected by Creed. I have tried perfumes with 2018 batch, so like uh, Green Irish Tweed, um, Royal Wood, and that's it. And they were long lasting and quite powerful. The recent batches, the new batches, they were a joke. 
for some reason. Be maybe because of the ingredients, maybe because of the owner changed and they said uh, put less perfume oil inside and let's make more margins. Because I read online that in the fiscal year ending in 23, uh, Creed Beauty, they have the sales volume of 250 million euro and high margins. Well, I think so too, that they have high margins because they don't spend so much on the marketing. They have not launched a network of shops by themselves. They have the online shop, they have the storage, they have the production in France and the distribution. So basically that's it. So I think that they might be up to 50% markup. So like around 120, 30 million euro net profit. But this can be checked online. So anyway, back here, BlackRock did what investment groups do. Purchase a very popular brand keep it a few years, the brand will uh, gain in equity, so it will have positive equity and then eventually it gets sold. So in the news, they speak about between one to two billion, with a billion euro um, purchase price. And now they have been sold four years later with maybe double price, let's say for the sake of the argument. So BlackRock uh, did a good job in here. But Kering will need to get also a lot of money from this, um, from this transaction back, not to get a return on their investment. And this might be that we will see a further dilution of the perfumes. So they will be even more diluted. So we will uh, like uh, lose even the low performance the Creed perfumes have. Or because they want to create a new strong competitor to Louis Vuitton, they will put more effort and more passion into creating and bringing Creed back to life because Creed is, let's face it, a bit in a very hibernation phase, let's call it this way. At least for me, there is no perfume they have right now on the market to justify the high price. After Kering's purchase in June this year, so let's say back from June onwards, they will increase the perfume oil and they will be powerful again. They will bring back to life the Aventus and make it strong. Maybe they will launch an Aventus extreme or Aventus Elixir or like uh, Aventus something like the next step in Aventus line with performance, with longevity, with some modern touches, then this will for sure help Kering create a name for themselves with the newly purchased Creed Beauty House. So I think it's enough about this, uh, this new purchase. Uh, I like the idea of um, getting your opinion about it and have like a, a place of discussion down in the comments below. Please let me know what do you think about this sale, if you expect the best for the new Caring Bote group in the next years or you think uh, they will simply cash the cow further and uh, keep the creeds as, uh, as diluted as they are as of now and reformulated and um, I don't know, not bring to the clients the top quality we expect for the amount of money they ask from us for the perfume. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this kind of monologue or like uh, my thoughts about this sale interesting. And please let me know if you would like me to post more of this uh, type of format in the future about uh, various topics, not necessarily about perfumery. I would uh, love to hear what you think about it. So thank you very much for uh, listening, watching and for your time. Have a great day and talk to you soon. Bye bye.